So now let's see how we can work around with the Blur, Sharpen and Smudge tool inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So here I have a picture opened up and if I were to go around and then zoom in, then you can see that there's certain level of sharpness to uh, the uh, subjects right here. So if you want to work around with that, uh, then under the expert mode, you can go around um, to the uh, blur tool right here. And if you were to click on it, you have access to the blur tool, the sharpen tool and the smudge tool over here. So you can go around, select the size of the brush and the strength right here. So I'm just going to go around and keep the strength to 100% right here include out the size and click and drag and you can see that it blurs out whatever you draw on top of just like this if you were to do it just like this and apart from it you can see that you can go around with darken over here as well so you can go around and darken out right here as you blur as you can see and you can lighten out as you blur over here just like this as well so there's different options and you can see that you can go around blur and increase out saturation and just like this and choose the type of brass as well uh, apart from that you can also go for the sharpen tool right here and make things more sharper so i'm just going to go around and size and you can see that you can sharpen things out as well and you can go around and let's say work around with luminosity right here you can work around with let's say darker color make it a bit dark and so forth according to the mode that you sell it similarly there's the smudge tool right here and smudge tool allows you to go around and smudge out content so you want to go around and smudge it you can click and drag around and depending on the size and strength it smudges out and just like with any other two tools you can work around with different things right here as you can see so there's like hue that you can work with there's saturation that you can work with and as you click on it you can see that the colors get removed and so forth so that is what you have as well so that is how you can work around with the uh, blur sharpen and smudge tool inside of adobe photoshop elements so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe <laughs>